Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be organizing my pantry. So what I just showed you guys was some of the containers that I picked up from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, Home Goods. Um, I also went to Dollar General and I was able to pick up those two baskets that says things and stuff on it. So the contractor that I work with looked at my shelf and stated that she's going to do like more of a triangle slant because that's how the closet is made. It's made in like a, a slant almost. And what I just did or what I'm doing right now is putting some contact paper down. Um, it's, it's really nice. I got it from Ikea and it's so easy to wipe off. I went ahead and got these containers from Aldi and I'm going to put pasta in them. I placed the oil on a clear tray as well just in case anything spill it will spill inside of this really flat tray it was just one extra tray that I had left over from when I um, lined my kitchen drawers The shelf that I'm filling up right now is the kids snack corner. Since the kids are home with me a lot more now um, and we're going to be virtually learning, I figured that they can just go in and grab a snack. So I made it um, I, a level where they can actually reach all the snacks and the cereal and different things. So just a quick fun fact, this closet was actually a coat closet, but I never really used it as a coat closet because there was not a closet rod in it, it was just a bunch of hooks. So I said, since it's right next to the kitchen, I always wanted a pantry, I might as well just add some shelves and turn it into a pantry. This next top shelf that I'm working on, I'm going to be putting all of my glasses. Um, I have a lot of mason jars, I have some wine glasses, and I also have a glass um, cake stand and pitcher holder, and I just don't want the kids to break it. So everything that's glass is gonna go at the top shelf. The great thing I love about all the containers that I've purchased is that I can reuse them to store different foods or like right now I'm putting in the cans uh, of iced tea and the Lazy Susie and I'm going to also put the kids drink in the Lazy Susie as well. Um, this way it's just easy for them to get it but in the future I probably will definitely change it again.
right here I'm just trying to figure out the order of the containers and the different snacks that I'm going to put in so I was just trying to measure it out to see what is going to work I have a lot of these XOXO containers in um, my kitchen cabinet as well they have like rice and and pasta so we'll see how this works out At this point, I was taking a step back to see how everything is looking from afar, and then I dropped the cookie. I dropped the cookies. I cannot believe I did that. I did pick all the cookies up and place them back into the container. Um, the floor was cleaned, so the kids will definitely eat the cookies. a lot of it's a lot of trash like when you go to the market so the boxes and the containers was just everything that was holding everything and I realized I filled up this trash bag with a lot of trash just from taking everything out of the original package at the end of the video and if you made it this long I just want to say thank you so much why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel I have a lot of fun over here uh, lifestyle mommy stuff organization I love to organize and put things together even though the kids make a whole mess but why don't you go ahead and subscribe again and hit that like button and comment down below on what other things you would like for me to organize and again thank you